The Hello Real Show. We are out here at the Soulful of Noise Festival. What up? What up? Out here in on Crenshaw. Uh, we're out here going to talk to some vendors. We're going to talk to some artists. About to eat some food. About to turn up. We about to drive the boat. You know, just keeping it volcanic. Come join us. Come check out what they got going on out here in LA. All right. So we're here with our first vendor of the day. What is your name, sir? My name is Ishmael. Tony. Hi, my name is Jackie. Tell everyone your name, please. I'm Jasmine Safina. I'm A Game. I'm from St. Louis. I'm Lanisha. I'm Marley. And I'm Xavier. Why don't you tell us your name and what it is you do? Uh, my name is Quincy Sutton. I'm a portrait artist and illustrator. We like your work. We saw you have the um, the horoscope pieces. How did that come about? Well. I'm not really big on horoscope, but I know a lot of people are, so I try to draw what I think people are into. So I did a little research about different personalities and different styles of um, uh, artwork that I thought would kind of describe the horoscope. So, And then I, I love drawing women, so I just did it all from a women's perspective. And I feel like most, most of the fans of the horoscope are women. I mean, That's true. I'm sure there's men too. I'm not trying to say it's, yeah, yeah. but uh, no, you're right. Like I That's said, hella real. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I, I try to go for what I think the customer wants. So. And then I, I just love drawing women anyway. So, that, so even if they didn't want it, that's what they're going to get. Well, you could draw us, you know. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to have a seat, it takes me like three to five minutes. I can just do a portrait of one of you guys. Uh, oh, that's fast. Okay. We love it. We love it. So how did you get into this business? Let's see, um, I went to art school in Columbus, Ohio, um, and uh, a CCAD, and then I moved to LA to like look for L um, animation, and I ended up getting into fashion um, using my art as um, for licensing. So I worked for toy companies and um, a few design agencies, and uh, I worked a little bit with uh, Carl Kanai and Carl Jones uh, from Cross Colors. Oh, awesome. And uh, just working my way around LA, and I ended up in some studios, but my backbone was always caricatures, because um, I used to draw caricatures uh, in Ohio at Cedar Point. And um, when I came here, I did caricatures to make money and to survive, and I slowly got into the studio work because I felt like, oh, I wanted to do something bigger. But as I got in the studios, I realized that um, the, the love for the art was more what I was doing when I was doing street art. So I, I did have opportunity to work at Fox and, let me see, and at Disney. And it, those were great opportunities and I still use those connections to, to do other work. So um, I do character art for companies that have licenses, Disney license, I still do Disney art. Um, but right now I'm totally just working for myself and just using my connections for freelance and doing festivals and just having a good time. Oh, a shout out to you out here hustling. Yep. Okay, I heard you saying earlier when we came up that you decided to draw us because other people don't. Can you tell us about, I heard you say that when we came up. Did you hear that? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I, I think I heard myself say that. Yeah, um, well, I'm, I don't know if I'm the only portrait artist here, but the style that I do, it's, um, it's like a caricature mixed with a portrait, or you could say like a fashion illustration, just because I don't do the, the too cartoony, but it's still like, kind of exaggerated. Okay, well, thank you for talking to us. Uh, no problem. Thanks, Thanks for you. having me. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are talking to these three handsome young kings. And can you tell us our your name? Uh, my name is Nas. My name is Judah. My name is Shiloh. All right. And so, t uh, tell our viewers what what you are selling today. All right, we are selling all natural ice pops. We're selling a three for one, two for five deal. Oh, we are over here making money. We're over here at the jazz festival. So we are holding our lollipops right here, Kayla and I, as you can see. Uh, and can you tell us what do we have in our hand? What do we have? I, we literally just bought it, so we haven't tried it yet. Uh, we have our, uh, what, what is this one? Uh, that is Georgia Peach on my mind. Georgia Peach on my mind. Okay, what does Kayla got? Yeah. Pineapple ginger. Pineapple. Mmm. That's good? 
It's hella good. <laughs> all right, all right. So where are you guys from? Uh, we're all from Inglewood. From Inglewood. And what made you guys decide to start selling lollipops? Or, sorry, popsicles. <laughs> Um, we just like tried to find out a way to help like the environment because 25% of the proceeds go to inner city arts programs so we're trying to like help with that and also like get find a way to get money. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so they're helping out the community. If you're ever in Inglewood come support these young men and where do you guys usually sell? Um, we're all in the area, we're all local, so pretty much in like the greater Los Angeles area we'll be. Uh -huh. So if there's any uh, events, we'll probably be like around there. Okay, Let's drop your Instagram. Where can uh, our viewers find you if they want to find you guys? Um, just I, Jiggy Pop, two G's, two P's. Yes. Yeah, same thing. J I G G Y P O P P. Okay, Ishmael, tell us what your business is and uh, what you have going here at the Soul Full of Noise Festival. Uh, well, I have uh, handcrafted pieces here. My business is called Douglas Galleries. I'm located in downtown LA, 334 South Main Street, space number 8015. And you can find me on Instagram at Douglas with two S's designs. I don't even have to ask him the plug, he's ready to go. <laughs> So how did your business start and what, what exactly do you do? Um, well, I started, uh, y'all want me to tell my age and stuff. I started a long time ago. <laughs> we don't have to tell your age. We, we're, we're okay with that. Okay, I started when I was a freshman in college. Um, I'm an artist by trade. I was drawing and painting and stuff and I wanted to sell my paintings. And I saw these guys where I'm from in Alabama, and I was like, and their name is Akben and V Initiators. Got to give them a shout out. We're at in Alabama, Birmingham. Uh, Montgomery, Alabama. I, I, I lived in Birmingham for a while. The Gump for show. The Gump for show. So I was there, and I was trying to sell art. And they said, well, we don't need anybody to do any art because I'm an artist by trade. They said, can you make jewelry? I said, well, I can do anything I put my mind to. Needless to say, more than 20 years later, here we are. Here we are. Yeah. I mean, I made all the pieces. I also make clothing. Um, I work in silver, gold, platinum, copper, brass, whatever. I just try to design whatever is uh, whatever needs to be designed. Okay, so do your pieces have meaning or is it for beauty or what, what's the meaning behind it? Well, what I like to do is, uh, there's a beauty aesthetic always, beauty, <laughs> but, Ow. bam. <laughs> but um, I kind of like to let the customer tell me what they think. So for instance, I'll take, like, I'll take a piece and I'll say, I'll look at this and I'll say, oh, this is, you know. I like that one, I like that one. And then somebody will say, this looks like a heart. And I'll say, okay. <laughs> so what is your inspiration behind this one? Um, I, well, like I always say that I'm in the cosmos. It's kind of, it's a mess, but I, I like that. I, I like yeah, the mess. I, and that's just a little pendant. There was some aura quartz and some green adventure and some Amazonite and some black onyx. It almost looks like a winery and a necklace. Oh, I like that, a winery and a necklace. Now, the funny thing is, after I finished, I did think of the uh, grapevine. Kind of how it's set up on the side, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Hella real, you know. Hella real, <laughs> hella real. Yes, ma'am. So, um, yeah, so it's just, uh, it's all about kind of being in touch with, I, I like to say the universe, you know what I'm saying, some God or whatever you want to say, as far as having a, a spiritual and off-world connection. The Almighty All High. Yes, the Almighty on High. And I, I often say, um, you know, that I'm simply just a vessel for the works being made. Um, a lot of the stuff, I spend a lot of time in my brain making jewelry. I don't spend a lot of time making jewelry. But when it comes, it comes. So this piece right here, I might have literally thought about this. This might have been in my, week for two, uh, in my head for two weeks, but when I made it, it probably took me 20 minutes. So you got talent is what you're saying. Uh, I, I just have a lot of ideas that I have to hash out. <laughs> Y'all heard that. <laughs> All right, so you already plugged. Is there anything else you would want to tell our people before we get into the fun questions? Uh oh, the fun questions. Um, this is Lamert Park. I'm here all the way from Montgomery, Alabama. Like the brother said, shout out to the Gump. Um, and I thank Hella Real for stopping and giving me an opportunity to be a part of their platform. Yeah, we got a good time. Thanks for being on our platform. We, hey, what we do, what we do say is we don't say lit, we say volcanic. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> blowing up volcanic. Hey. <laughs> wait, wait, drop one for us. All right, well, thank you for talking with us. Thank you all. Thank you we appreciate you. And y'all check him out at his spot. Wait, one more time. Where is it at? All right, we're at 334 South Main Street in downtown LA. I'm in what's called the Medallion Building. You can't miss it. It's a big green and white building with black spots on the side. It's an amazing building. And I'm doing a festival there at the end of September, September 24th, called the Douglas Fest. 
Stick to my Instagram, at Douglas, D-O-U-G-L-A-S-S, Designs, to find out more. All right. And what are you well, selling I today? I um, coconut soy wax candles. They're amazingly scented, handcrafted right here in South L.A. And I also have a line of greeting cards and enamel oh. pins featuring my daughter's original artwork. Awesome. Wait, I, we didn't see that. So we smelled the, so the candles smell good. So where are the, where's the, oh, it's over so there. The pins are on the jacket. And we have three images right now. And then the carousel contains all the uh, greeting card images that, um, again, are made by my daughter. I love. Also from up, well, she's going to school at Humboldt State, so a little further up than you guys are at the okay, Bay. Okay, so when did you start this? Like, did something inspire you? Like, how so I started, it'll be three years ago on August 27th. And my main thing was uh, my favorite candle store moved to Santa Monica and bad traffic to get there, bad parking. And so I'm like, I can make my own candles. Yeah. And so I took a class at West LA College made a bunch of really bad candles <laughs> and you know was able to partner with uh, a local candle maker who's been doing it for over 30 years and he he's like my Buddha of candles and he taught me all his secrets my mentor and um, started making candles that I thought people would like and I started at the Crenshaw Farmers Market uh, th again three years ago August 27th. You're doing great hunting. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I have many repeat guests so that yeah. that speaks more to me than anything. It's hard to choose one, definitely. Are these easy? Are these soaps? Yeah. So then I also make some soaps. I think I have six scents here. They're all made Can with I shea add? butter. Yeah, please. They're all made with shea butter. Some of them include ground sea salt as well as uh, ground oats. Because um, we want to, you know, uh, exfoliate as we clean. Uh, my Nag Champa soap has uh, Rasul clay to help pull out impurities. So yeah, we. I, my whole thing is. Um, be respectful of our, our earth. Yeah. So the candles, again, coconut soy wax doesn't put uh, carbon in the air. And then, you know, uh, with what we put on our bodies, you know, all natural ingredients, you don't need to have a science degree to read the label. Well, we are definitely fans and we'll be buying some. I know I will, at least, yes. And they all smell like beautiful. Guys. Absolutely. Yes. yes. So in addition to candles, I, I'm also a stained glass mosaic artist. So I actually have a, a large panel at the brand new Kaiser right here in South LA that showcases the wonderful um, buildings in our community, the Lemur Park Theater, um, all of our wonderful palm trees because you know I'm tired of the stigma around South LA. We have a great neighborhood and then I'm actually working on uh, a few Nipsey Hustle tribute pieces as well in mosaic art. So yeah, Can't wait to artistic see uh, talents extend past the candles as well. Alright, y'all got that. Check her out. Buy the soaps, buy the candles, <laughs> and watch for her art. Yeah, come see the art too. And and uh, find me on Instagram at House of Mosaic Candles, and I post a lot of the artwork there as well. And w uh, anyone wants to buy your things online, do you sell online? And where can they find you? So uh, online, you can find me at www.houseofmosaic.com. And then a weekly, every Saturday, I'm at the Crenshaw Farmer's Market. So right here in South LA, right in front of the Cinemark Movie Theater from 10 to 3. All right, y'all get that. Okay, so we're out here with another artist at the Soulful of Noise Festival. So I'm like lightweight starstruck right now because I follow you on Instagram. I'm like so excited about this. You don't even know. <laughs> so why don't you tell us, uh, our viewers, uh, what your name is and what you do. Hi, my name is Jackie and I'm an illustrator. Um, I primarily illustrate women of color, so that's kind of my thing. So where do you pull inspiration from for your art because your art is so diverse? Um, so mostly I just really want to empower and uplift women, so I really want to just showcase a diverse group of women. So, you know, I see women with, you know, crazy hair, you know, bright lipsticks, or even just like normal women, and I really want to showcase that in my drawings. Okay, so why don't you tell us a little bit like where you're from, how you got your start. So I'm actually from Chicago. I've been in LA for about eight years and I actually got my start in animation. So I moved out here to work in animation and I kind of just wanted to be my own boss and work for myself. So I've been doing that ever since. How's that going? How's the business going? It's going really good. Um, I get to meet a lot of really interesting people um, and my clients always ask for really unique stuff. So it keeps me on my toes and keeps me happy. 
Okay, so for the people who are like me and like your art, where can we find you? What, let's give us a plug. You can find me on Instagram at Jackie C. Smith. Dot, um, Jackie C. Smith. It's spelled J A C Q U I C. Smith. Or you can find me on my website. It's the same thing, JackieCSmith.com. All right. Is there any like philosophy you have or things that you want the people to know about? I don't think so. I just really want people to know that, um, you know, diversity and supporting people that are different from you is very important. So just keep doing that and also support your local artists. We out here working really hard. So Thank I heard that. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay. No. Can I just say when you said that you came here for animation, yeah. when we first came up here, I was thinking all these beautiful ladies around us yeah. can be in a, an animated, yeah. like, um, insecure or something. Yeah, but an animated version, like all these beautiful women. Like if the Proud family grew up. <laughs> yeah. you're, trying to, you're working on, trying to pitch, because I would definitely watch. Yeah, so I'm actually working on making my own children's book, my own animation series, so I'm kind of like building up towards that. But yeah, that's definitely something I want to do, except I want to, you know, creative control. I want to feature, you know, women that look like us in animation, comic books, all of that, yeah. Y'all heard, you heard that Issa Rae and Robin Thede and all y'all? Call her, call her, yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're watching, but shoot, it's okay. Well, thank you for talking to us. And also just uh, give one last plug as far as where can people find you and follow you. You can find me on Instagram at Jackie C. Smith or on my website, JackieCSmith.com. And I also have coloring books available on Amazon. It's called Know Yourself, a Coloring Book for Women. Love it. Y'all heard that? Get that, get that. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Thank you. You are back, and we are here with one of the beautiful, talented artists of today. Hey. Caught you on stage, girl. <laughs> yes, we, we caught you killing it on stage, and she is a singer. And you, I'll let you tell the viewers what else, what else you do. I'm Jasmine Safina. I'm a singer, songwriter from Durham, North Carolina, I'm recording artist, and I just I love to perform. All right, so what is your inspiration? Life, just life. That's the best way to put it. Um, whatever I'm going through, I just take a minute and I, I write about it and I put it into song and just hope that it hits somebody the way that, that I needed a song to hit me in that moment, you know what I mean? Tell us the inspiration behind the first song you sang today. So the first song I sang, uh, Summertime Love, is, it's on my upcoming album, Fill Me Up. It should be coming out soon, date. You know, stay tuned for that. Um, but summertime love, it's a hot girl summer. Ow. Ow. <laughs> it's a hot girl summer. So I'm fitting. A singer. Um, so I, I wanted to, to bring a soulful point of view to this hot girl summer that we're having. The nights are much shorter and the days are much hotter. Don't be out here all thirsty. summertime love like once it's on it's don't on call me in october. don't call me in october <laughs> don't be blowing me up in october summertime love. okay <laughs> don't do it it's a hot girl summer not a hot girl fall it ends the first week of september so you got until then <laughs> don't call me in october <laughs> And so where can uh, where our viewers find find you? Where can they hear your music? Where can they get inspired? Um, my music is on Spotify. That was so sweet. <laughs> it just hit my heart. My music's on Spotify, uh, Tidal, Apple Music, iTunes. I think it's on Pandora, Amazon, pretty much anywhere you can get music. Um, that's where it is. Again, my name is Jasmine Safina. So you can just type in Jasmine Safina and everything will come up. Look out for her. Ayo. Jasmine Safina. Jasmine Safina. <laughs> so we're here with one of the artists of yeah, Soul Full of Noise. So tell us about your performance here. How'd you get involved with Soul Full of Noise? Uh, my bro Xavier. I came out a whole bunch of times trying to get involved. I couldn't. I tried and I tried again and eventually I got on and then the rest is history. I've been rocking with him for like six months to a year now. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your music, uh, tell us the inspiration behind it, what type of yeah. music is it for the people who weren't here today? Yeah, well my name A-Game, uh, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, I'm from the north side to be exact. 
I just represent exactly where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? It's some it's a little bit uh underdeveloped, you know what I'm saying, impoverished as they say. You ain't got no time around your sprinklers. Yeah, no. <laughs> no time we don't got no timers on our sprinklers. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think I ain't never maybe my grandpa used to water his grass like people don't do people even water their grass no more. Like, In California we do. See, no, not where I'm from. It's a whole bunch of abandoned buildings and like, all the traps they talk about, that's where I'm from. But uh, but my music though is very inspiring. It's uplifting. I'm young. I'm educated. I'm very black. Uh, I'm a hustle oriented uh, individual. So you get all of that in my music, all of that in my music. And you get somebody young, and I'm I'm experimenting with being young. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing up and, and doing what I love to do. So you feel that in my music. I'm young, but I'm a hustler. So you get all of that in my music. Okay, so you're from the Midwest. What did you? How did you get to LA? To be honest, I tried to move to Atlanta, but like I went to Atlanta to, to do a competition. I won the competition and they flew me out to LA and I've been out here ever since. Okay. So I got lucky. Shout out to God. Shout out to God. God is hey, good man, all the time. Game, man. That's, hey, that's the big saxophone player in the land right there. That's the best saxophone player in the land right there. Hey, we saw you. All, all white yacht party. When we at the white yacht party? Yacht Yeah. Oh yeah, you can find me at a all things A Game STL. I'm A Game. I'm from St. Louis, so A Game STL. You can find all of it there. All right, y'all heard that? that noise and hella real TV. Introduce yourselves, beautiful people. I'm Lanisha. I'm Marley. And I'm Xavier. We've been doing Soulful Noise since 2017. Yeah. Yeah. So. 2017, we had our first show uh, February 18th. We kind of just like joined forces and. Did put on our first event and it just took off from there. And in the beginning, what was your process to find artists even? Instagram. Instagram. So yeah. Yeah. I knew a bunch of different musicians and stuff. I'm from Memphis. Uh -huh. So a bunch of my partners that play instruments, they moved out here to make it big in LA. Reached out to them and none of them really rock with us. They're like, well, what you doing? Uh, okay, that's cool. Because they know me for being a DJ. They don't know me for doing shows. I'm like, all right. But I bet they wish they was here today. So the reality is it was the extension of our relationship. So there's no separation when we're at home. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, I don't want to hear about soulful <laughs> noise right now. Okay. Like, what about those 2 a.m. ideas though. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, we need date night. No soulful <laughs> noise. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, when we first started, we were just dating. We had just gotten to a relationship. I mean, not, dating. now we married. We just got married in May. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And got a, a dog on the way. Little man right here. So we building a tribe around everything, but. It take a toll, so to anybody out there, I think that that's the epitome of what we need to do as black people, is work with your mate. She's been pregnant during this entire planning process, so it's been a toll on her body and her mind. She's just like, baby, I can't do it. But today, she showed up and showed out. I was just over here the entire time, but when you look out and see everything that was set up, she did that. Yeah. What, now, what did you think? I had a good time. I actually came in this afternoon from the Bay. Okay. I flew down just for this, so yeah, Thank it was you. a good time. Um, so we have some fun questions. Fun questions? Yes, yes. It's more for artists. And you are a singer, sanger. But if you want to do it, feel free of your creativity. <laughs> We've had musicians and non-musicians. If you're a good sport. <laughs> uh, give us your best music run. I don't know. Who, who who just randomly has runs? Runs? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you Ooh, what y'all talking about? Like a do 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 Oh. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Even if I give you like a word and you could like. I got to run off of a word though, right? Hello, hella real. Oh, hella real, okay. Yeah, start All right. from hella real and then right. you can do it from there. Hella, hella, hella real. Yes, so full of noise. Hello, Period. So, um, I cannot sing like Coco at all, but can't explain why you love that makes me weak. <laughs> sorry, Coco. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. <laughs> That's about all I got. Give it a bop. Ah, love.
loved it a lot. No, I'm just playing. Well, I'm a rapper. Y'all better stop playing uh, with me. <laughs> it started off good. No, you, you're the best all day. You get the award. Okay, and last of all, we asked all of our people that we talked to. We are hella real. He oh, hecka real. Sorry. <laughs> What's that? I said it's fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are hella. You are hella. Hella. Real. No. That's ours. Are y'all hella real? <laughs> I was gonna say real, but. We are hella real. You are hella. Uh, what are we supposed to say? Pregnant. <laughs> oh, I was like, uh. Hella talented. I'm gonna go down the line, okay? You are hella what? Amazing. Hella amazing. Creative. Cool. Uh, hella blessed. Hella blessed, y'all. Heaven blessed. Hella artistic. I'm hella cool. You are hella. Jasmine. I'm a hell of a hustler. Know what I'm saying? Y'all, I'm from the Show Me State. Hella of a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Play with us. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the Show Me State. <laughs> yeah, that's a new segment. A whole new segment? Yeah, hell of a hustler. Hell of a hustler. <laughs> hella. Uh, broke after this festival. <laughs> I hear you. No, I that's hear hella you. real. That's hella real. And you, young man, you are hella. <laughs> Fly. Hey. Hey. Bye. <laughs> so you're watching hella real. You're watching hella real. Hey. 